Only one kid in history had ever attempted what Benny was about to. And he got eaten. So we were worried. Real worried. Even when Benny brought out the secret weapon. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Slate Lakes Podcast. Uh, we hope you're doing well. Mm-hmm. Happy hump day. Hump day. Uh, one of us went on a little trip. Gonna plan a little trip here. Yeah. You wanna <laughs> tell us about the trip? How was the trip? Um, well, it, you know, it was cool. I didn't have reception for people that I've been following. So, I did miss out on the Space Hippie 3. Um, <laughs> You know, reception, not yeah. to get those shoes. So I woke up in the tent, and you know how like you grab the phone, and I don't know. I just figured I'd try for for the sake of trying, I guess. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta attempt it. You know, and uh, so you know, I got, I think it was six fifty five or something like that, because you know it's releasing at seven, and then it was just like no service. Um, and I like opened the app, and then you know it's like could not open app or whatever you know, retry, because no service. And so, I, I took an L, you know? I probably would've took an L anyways, but... Yeah, you weren't gonna I took an L by default, so... Because that Space Hippie's just been... Mm-hmm. Off. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's so they both too sold out. The ones that released, um, the Gray, the Bolt, um, those uh, are now reselling, I think, for like three something, or four, low four, high three, but the one that I really want, the first ones that I tried to go after, yeah, those are like five eighty nine right now in my size. Dang. So it's okay. crazy. Um, but obviously I got a lot of photos. I started to post them, so you guys should see that. Check uh, out the Slate Lace Instagram page. You know. To see the pics. Uh, I've been man. I've been wearing that whole time I was out there. I only wore Nikes. Um, I haven't cleaned the shoes yet. Oh, you haven't. Mm mm. Mm-mm. That's I took shocking. Pictures, I took pictures of it, so I will post it. They are beat up. <laughs> oh, are they really that dirty? Oh, terrible. Dang. The dirtiest I've had a shoe since we was, it's we probably, was, we was kids. It's you probably know? honestly not even going to be that dirty. Mm-mm. It is? It's pretty dirty. I had to... I was hiking um, through mud. I even had to swim through a... Um, you yeah, swim? I, just, I had to swim. Nah, y'all doing too much. I had to, no, I had no, I had no choice. So basically, to complete the uh, the trail, last year it flooded, and so now it's not possible to walk through. You actually got to swim through. So I mean, my shoes had just been through everything. ACG, shout out to y'all. Um, so I've been through everything. Got a little shoe. waterproof pouch. Got the shoes in the pouch. Well, I mean, you know, yeah. I was supposed to be in these. Uh, speaking um, of those, yeah, you want to get to that unboxing? So you know what, shoot, let's just get into it. So if you've been following us and watching the last couple episodes, you know that Blair had bought some waterproof sandals um, specifically for the trip, and they obviously didn't get here in time, but mm-hmm. he got them now. And, and they show us. now, and I'm unboxing them now. They are Nike sandals, correct? Nike sandals post-camping, which are pointless. But you know what? They are heat, so I may rock them out in the wild as well. So you can really just put a fit with it. So this is still mean, ACG, though. They still are ACG, as you can see here. Check it out. Still ACG, so I may. You may see me wearing it. I don't really wear um, sandals, like I've said multiple times on this show. But you'll get some with fur. But I will. Yes, wear the Rick Owen ones. Those are fire, and I guess I'll wear these ones as well. So expect me to expect to see me with these with socks on, <laughs> looking like somebody's grandpa, I guess. Um, it even says go outside here. You know, being nice outside packaging. is important. That's for all the children at home that do like to play video games and never go outside. Going outside is also nice. Um, StockX went here and gave Ooh. me a, a sticker just to show me the authenticity. Uh, the authenticity and that I did get robbed because they have a processing fee now plus sales tax plus shipping. 
So thank you for that, StockX. I do appreciate that. Also, if you've been following us, we know we kind of recommend GOAT more now, right? Yeah, because GOAT is a little bit cheaper. Yeah. And the I'm whole... check out the GOAT for what, sure. What really is grinding my gears right now is the fact that I bought these sandals basically... Let's see. So I paid 101 for them, right? Yeah. That's, That's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah. But considering I could have got it for less, but I needed the sandal to go to Utah with. So I needed to get it right then, right now. I couldn't really just haggle with people, you know? I had to buy it now. Right. And then of course, uh, after people were buying it for like 90 bucks, 87, 95. So you can't look at that. You gotta just take your your, your win while you can. You can't but my thing like, is, is that if I knew that the win. shoe wouldn't get here on time. Yeah, you would have waited. I would have waited and got yeah. it for the low then. But of course I didn't get it for the low. And on top of it, I didn't even get to camp with them. So anyways, they got watches on here. I don't know. Uh, I guess they're just basically on? saying that you can do more now, whether it's the, they're they, all about access, whatever. They need to stick, stay in their own lane. Yeah. They got a StockX sticker. Hit me up if y'all want it. We'll let <laughs> it go for a couple. Let it go. A couple you know, bucks. You know, I might even give it away. No, I don't know. Well, you pay this, you pay this shit. But look, yeah, that's so they nice. got verified, authentic. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the bottom's got the same color. Basically, it's like that's the ACGs. Other, yeah. I mean, that this is, this is, you know, quintessential uh, 90s, you know, uh, yeah. sandals right here. And like I said, it's verified, authentic, you know, but I highly doubt there was people out here trying to make fakes of, of these, you know? Yeah, and I but, like how it has the kind of same colorway too. It does. Um, now there's different variations here. We got, I mean, obviously I got basically the closest to, I believe the OG. Um, but I say that to say they have the Be True. And on the oh, back of the okay. Be True, it has the pouch. I don't know what you could really put in the pouch. That's kind of hard though. But the pouch is dope. You know, you maybe could put your house keys in there or something. But you can see we got some purple going on. And then we got a, uh, the vintage turquoise in there. They even got the sizing. So that's kind of dope. Oh, on the strap? On the strap, they do have the sizing. Just making sure I talk into the mic, you know. Um, yeah. That is dope. That's a little dope they shoe. They got the production date. Still smells like the new shoe. He got the, the right? kind of new shoe smell. Still it got is, a new shoe is. smell, even new, though it's New sandal, sandal smell. Um, yeah, that's dope. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. I see it. You know. ACG got the quality though. They've been saying it. And dang, they got little details here. It says for outdoor use. Yep. It says it there too. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, you didn't get that outdoor use. But I did not, and it's gonna get, it's gonna get casual wear use now, unless I go again. It says sticky rubber. That's kind of cool. Um, ACG all conditions gear designed and tested in Oregon, USA. Bang. Yeah, that's not Sandal a bad. That's not a bad looking sandal right there. That's you know, pretty dope. They tough. Look, I mean, you literally can feel the body. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's dope. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's clean. It's clean. Well, at least you got them. Yeah. Did it come couple time, but hey, you still got them. Um, but let's get into some of these releases really quickly. Okay. So today, um, well, I guess a couple days ago now, since you're watching it, it's um the uh. The off-white sale fours. Um, I thought they were kind of clean. I kind of slept on them at first, just first and foremost. Um, for me, I'd really like. I don't pay attention to off-white too much. In my mind, those fives that uh, the fives are tough. Which ones? Um, those cream ones. Those cream. Oh, fives, oh, the those, ones that haven't released. Yeah, those are hard. Okay, yeah, they didn't release. And a couple of the ones like the UNC. Um, and I think there's one other colorway. You don't um, like any of those Air Force Ones? The, the blue ones? The off-white? No, no, no. Them is hard. So that's about as far as I go with off-white. So so the fours kind of caught me off guard. I was like, oh, okay. Them is kind of tough. But I didn't I didn't go after them. I, now, I have Soul Links. So to everyone that watches, uh, you should get Soul Links. It's spelled S-O-L-E, like the shoe Soul Links. Basically, when you sign up, they update you by the minute. So you can be on your phone and you can be walking and it'll be like uh, Travis Scott 4's restock. And then it'll give you the link 
and all you gotta do is open it up when it sends it to you and um you can go after the shoot yeah i gotta download that after because uh you know i've been getting played with these yeah. releases lately yeah so because i'm like man if you that. if you get back i mean you if you're on your phone you can't miss it of course and that's the thing though you gotta be yeah the, the and, life of a sneakerhead is not it's not a it's joke. It's not it's not easy because if you think about it, I mean, there's stuff going on every day. Soul Links almost updates me every day, but it just depends on where you are. What if you're sleeping, you wake up, and then you find That's out the Tom Sachs restock surprise okay. restock, right? Stop playing. <laughs> then you pissed off. You know what I mean? Or say like you're you're uh uh you know you're at work, and then all of a sudden another restock. That's what I'm saying. Happens. Yeah, it's it, dangerous. It, just, it happens. Um, you know? But yeah, I definitely got to check out that app because that's how I got played. Just being yeah. up, you got to be prepared. Um, being unprepared, yeah. you won't get your hand on any of these mm -hmm. these sneakers. Mm -hmm. um, but going back to that Jordan Four sale, I think everyone knows how I feel about the fours. I'm not not the biggest fan of the fours. Makes no sense. One of the greatest shoes ever. So for you to not I mean, like it, uh, I still rock with the what three. What does it say about you? That I have good taste and I'm not feeling that four. So I'm also else is crazy. Yeah. Sometimes okay. it's just like that. Um, okay. I'm also not feeling the colorway, the sail colorway. Like the, the it likes the desert sand kind of. Yeah. Not feeling that. Um, see, I'll probably let these sit. I mean, well, they're, they sold out. They're already yeah, sitting they're, they're, for you. yeah, they're yeah, gone. But um, yeah, it's not something I would have gone after. I saw uh, earlier on sneaker news that they were dropping. Mm -hmm. um, they kind of came out of nowhere though, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't even know Virgil was working on another yeah. four. Yeah. I didn't, but that maybe, maybe, maybe we did know, and we just don't pay attention to Virgil enough, cause I don't pay attention to him too much. So yeah, it was just one of those that I was on Snapchat and I saw Quavo wearing them, and it kind of hit me, and I was like, oh dang, today was the day. Yeah, and then I got the notification as well. I didn't even know that they released. I thought you know he was just giving you know how people just give friends and family pairs, mm -hmm. and they don't even release mm -hmm. to the general public. So, but I follow Virgil on Instagram, but mm -hmm. his Instagram's kind of all over the place, not necessarily about his work. So. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I didn't, I missed that as well. But yeah, I mean, it's not, I don't feel too sad about yeah. it. It's yeah. not a shoe I would have copped to begin with. Yeah. Um, but also you let me know this morning that the uh, alternate grapes had restocked. Yeah, I did. Uh, I let you know the very second that it happened. So went ahead and missed those as well. Yeah, you didn't jump on the phone the very second that I told you that they dropped. I, let, I gave you the drop before most yeah. of the world had the drop. The um, thing is, when life gets in the way, you know, people get busy, people got mm -hmm. work. Yeah, I understand. I'm just so, saying, but, now but I'm yeah, great, not missed out. got no fruits. So. No fruits. No mm -hmm. fruits of labor. Uh, <laughs> That's what I was going to say, too. No fruit. Yeah, so it sucks for you. Yeah. Uh, I did go ahead also and put a bid in on the New Balance that I've been talking about almost every single week. Um, and I how much are they retailing, reselling for? Um, I think I can get them for about like 192 Oh, okay. So I thought they were a lot, a little bit more cheaper than that, though. Nah, it's they're going. All right. So you yeah. want to bid on that? You yeah. Bid on so, that. so the thing is, is that the more the shoe sits, the higher it goes up. So basically, when it first when it first dropped, I think I could have gotten them for probably like one sixty or something like that. But um, I wasn't doing it, and so now I'm still really not trying to pay one sixty. My bid in right now is at one thirty. You might get it though. No. You no, don't think I'm so? Not, I'm not the highest bid right now. Oh, you're not even the highest bid. No, well, because I was the highest bid, and then this dude comes in and he puts up five more than me. So I'm like, whatever, and I'm going 130. And then I get another notification, he outbid me, and he put, he's at 133. And I'm just like, dude, chill. Like, we're going to get it, you know what I mean? But in due time, I go first, you know? Yeah. I got to get it on this channel. But, um,. So I mean I may not even have it anytime soon because I'm really not trying to hedge, you know. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm I mean right. sometimes patience is the name of the game though, because I mean I told you I got those Supreme boots. Yes. Just, I let it sit the, a bit sit there for like four months. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta wait the month. Sometimes. You <laughs> Ain't gotta nowhere to go down. anyway. You on lockdown. It's not like you wearing fits yeah, anyway. So. In the water. Yeah, so yeah. it don't really matter. Um, but what I also saw too was a Jordan Three, the Chinese denim colorway. They're tough. They and that tight. that's a nice little colorway. I mean, to me, nothing the, will the beat. Threes. Yeah, nothing will beat that UNC colorway. Mm. You like the Chinese denim better than UNC colorway? No, I mean, if you're talking about threes in general, you ain't mentioned OG threes before some UNC. Oh, ones. okay. Well, we getting disrespectful right now. Yeah, but I mean, that's just me being a new school cat. They talking about the colors. Man, 
But yeah, those those denims were tough because when they first released images, they didn't have the Chinese lettering originally. It just said Nike Air, and so I was like, "Oh, these are tough." I was like, "Like low key need these." Mm -hmm. um, and then when I saw them in Chinese, uh, like I fell back a little bit. I still think they're tough, but what's really pushing me away from not wanting them is just the denim. Um, yeah. On the elephant print. Print. It yeah. just it, it's too dark for me. But but the shoe's tough. Yeah, it's it's um, definitely a dope colorway. Um, Again, I like when the majority of the shoe is white, especially mm -hmm. with threes, especially mm -hmm. with that silhouette. Uh, I like the majority sure. being white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's definitely better. But I mean, I still, I still got to get the UNC before anything if I'm mm -hmm. going threes. Uh, it's just I'm not gonna pay that resale price. That's the one shoe I want to kind of hold out and not pay that price for. Mm -hmm. Also, with the alternate grapes, I don't see myself pulling the trigger on a resale. Yeah, I but thought. I mean, just it hasn't gone up that much though. Yeah, but after today's restock, you got to realize that it's not going to hold too much value because you probably get another one or what end up hap it, it's possible. But what also could end up happening is, is that there's just no resale value to them. There's too many packed pairs. It's too Good. It's oversaturated. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. So you should almost get retail now or just barely over like 20 bucks over. Mm -hmm. Like um, I was looking at the, the, the 380s right now, the Yeezy 380 um, Mist colorway. Is that the, I think I saw that. Um, it's the brown pair. Yep. But uh, it's, the, the, it's the same alien one that he was wearing a while back. But anyways, those are tough. I want those. And those are basically only like 20 bucks above retail right now. You know what I mean? That's but retail is 230. So that's not bad. That's not, not terrible. It's not, it's not bad, but it's just not my time to be paying for shoes like that. Yeah, you we know what I mean. So I'm just looking at them like they look pretty. I'd like to wear them, but I'm it's not worth it right now. Right yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So anything you going after in the immediate future, though? Um, no, probably not. I mean, unless New Balance accepts my. Uh, so just those New Balance. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not. I'm still not really going after nothing. Um, I, I mean, I guess unless. Uh, things change, but um, doesn't like things are changing yet. So probably not. I'm just gonna be chilling. I do want those, and then obviously everybody knows. You know, we want the Tom Sacks. Everybody knows. You know, um, uh, what else? What else is on? Uh, oh yeah, everybody. Oh well, actually, not everyone knows. But the breads, um, the 350s, the, the basically the OGs um, for Yeezys are dropping again. Um, in the holiday season, so I do need those as well. That is something that what, I, if I gotta start saving you? from today, I will do it to get them. What's up? You probably do. Gotta start saving. But what is this? Which colorway is this? It's the uh, bread. I think he calls them even the. Um, it was a Black Friday release, but it's the all black 350, and then it just says 350 supply and um, red stitching. Uh, That's it. It's so it's so simple. Nah, that it's that black on black. Mm -mm. It's the black one with the black upper and the black sole, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. No, can't do it. Sorry. Okay, you tripping? But it's all good. Um, but that that's gonna go though. Yeah. You better I mean, get that links app. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna get be it ready. cracking. I'm gonna be ready. My thing is, I'll probably take a L. I won't get them. But I'm just hoping that maybe they'll make so many pairs that they can't oh, that the market cannot be where it's at right now. Cause right now my size, I think it's like 803. Oh. Heck no. Yeah, but you'll notice that shoes what they will trend trend downward. You might as well get off white. But no, no, no. Shoot, they will trend downward all the way up until the release date yeah. because basically people are gonna try to get rid of their pairs before they're worth nothing. Yeah. And then when they realize that it wasn't a big restock, then they can boom kick the prices right back up. And that's good insight that you heard here on the Slate Lace podcast mm -hmm. first. So if ever a popular shoe like that is re-releasing soon, mm -hmm. get it. Yeah, now's you that gotta, time to go ahead and you, grab them. You think, as a seller, get rid of them. As a buyer, you gotta think, am I taking an L? If I'm gonna take an L, You're gonna take let an L. me buy it for the low right now because when I take this L, it's gonna kick right back up and I'm gonna end up paying the 800 that I did not wanna do. So if it gets to four or five, you might have to just shell out and pay a couple. Well, yeah, because, couple, yeah, much more. yeah. yeah. I mean, if you weigh the you know pros and cons, mm -hmm. you might as well just go buy it now mm -hmm. um, while they're dropping because mm -hmm. it's gonna be a rare, hard to find sneaker. You know, yeah. anything you know, Kanye touches Yeezy wise, mm -hmm. 
is gonna sell out. So you can take that advice on the Tom Sachs too. <laughs> the Tom Sachs is gonna go before you blink. It's gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. Like that shoe. We mm -hmm. we're probably gotta time lapse that or something. Yeah. Us trying to get that or do a day in the life. Yeah. Uh, when those uh, drop. Tom Sachs, <laughs> <in life. laughs> yeah, because it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Um, but as far as what I'm looking to get, besides the alternate grapes, I don't think I want anything else. I want these Air Forces to get my first kind of pair. Well, besides mm -hmm. the pair I had when I was a kid. Right. Um, I want to get these Air Forces, but I can't pay this 500. No. Um, but I'm trying to keep it under wraps in case I do pull the trigger on it. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. then I'm going to unbox it here because uh -huh. they, they, yeah. they are. Yeah. But they're dropping a bunch of Air Force One colorways and these yeah. like kind of pastel uppers. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really with that, those kind of colors. I mean, it's cool, but you don't need it. Yeah. Like, it's not anything sought after, not anything to do. So that, I still need a UNC3. Mm -hmm. I still need a, a Jordan 1, the core purple. Mm -hmm. So I got things I gotta get. I gotta get a couple more Air Max 1s, but yeah. just taking my time with it right now. Nothing's really pressing. <laughs> um, not in this quarantine era. Not in the quarantine era. I think the probably the number one is the alternate five or the alternate grape. So mm -hmm. that's the one I gotta get. Oh, but they're doing the what the Jordan Five too, where each shoe is a different kind oh, of color. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really into what that either. Heck? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I could do it. Um, yeah, it's just a big mess. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm not gonna wear two different color uh, shoes. So, uh, but I saw that lately on sneaker news that that's dropping soon. Mm -hmm. um, and the fives aren't that great of a silhouette just to be rocking any kind of five. Like it's got to be true. a dope colorway and that's mm -hmm. what the alternate grape gives you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I can't really rock it in any other color. I can't do that. Oh, well the regular grape is kind of dope with the white. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah, down yeah. so G. Yeah. I mean, cause I, shout out to Will Smith making them what they are, yeah. you know? So that one's good. But other than that, mm -mm, you can't really just be rocking too many fives. Mm -hmm. um, Same with the two. Look, I just put a I, I just put a two low in my uh, on my watch list. Mm, well, go ahead. The two low, I really feel like I can hoop in. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna test them out. Of oh, course, look. All right, PJ. It looks like it gives yeah. It looks like it gives some good like mm -hmm. traction. I was like, okay, two lows. I might try to like break these out. I mean, I, it's funny like shoes the hoop in as far as jordan goes it's almost like the opposite like i would hoop in some 13s exactly those are the ones hoop in 14s you know why because those are all the narrow ones mm -hmm. the tens that people like to hoop in are mm -hmm. narrow the mm -hmm. 13s are narrow the two is narrow like it's not the bulkier ones that you right, can you right hoop like in. the the threes that's just that's just straight like you know you you that's a nice shoe that you just don't yeah. hoop in. You're not you know, hooping in fours, that. Fours, you're not hooping in. I mean, fours too bulk. If you're, if you're an NBA, if you're an NBA player, you hoop in all of these shoes. Period. Yeah, but, but you can also get the updated technology exactly, inside but, of. But like as us like regular folk, man, us man, if we break out the threes, man, it's like Friday night or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like you going to school and you get ready to kill them. Mm -hmm. So it's just not a shoe that you playing ball in. Yeah. But yeah, they definitely got those popular pairs that people try to hoop in. Because I see people hooping in tens all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes even the elevens. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely those thirteens for yeah. sure. Them things yeah. is hideous Guaranteed. though. I hate the thirteens, man. I mm -hmm. know you like them. Yeah, I mean that was my first uh, Jordan ever. And in the doc, he was wearing those thirteens a yes, lot. He was. He was. Man, me and Mike, we had we had something in common. Yeah, that's the one thing. <laughs> Cause Mike <laughs> it was wearing some 13s because yeah, that was, was the first pair it. that uh, dad had bought me. Yep. And that was the last pair. <laughs> <laughs> the first and the last. The first and the last. So. Um, but I like the episode when he, uh, after his dad passed, he brought he broke out the ones again mm -hmm. for his last game. And yeah, he was like, my feet is bleeding. Mm -hmm. Bleeding and happy. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just I like, that you but, can't hoop in. Yeah, but it just, it's funny how like much the technology changed from that time. Like, right, literally. Because right. you was hooping in those shoes. Exactly. Not too long when ago. Was, when he was a rookie, that was, you was wearing that shoe. Exactly. Was comfy. Yeah. I was like, are you kidding me? And that's that just game. strict. That's strictly swag. Like you wearing that strictly just to look good, because mm -hmm. you are not gonna go play ball in those. Yeah, he's like, my feet are killing me, but that was that was funny. That mm -hmm. doc was good. It's not streaming on Netflix. I um, wish we knew that. Yeah, <laughs> before we try to stream it <laughs> and watch it on various uh, video yeah. streaming links and have yeah. all this trouble. That was mm -hmm. annoying. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's definitely good. Uh, Very insightful. Yeah, especially the the episodes on the sneakers. I mean, it's um, inside the mind of a killer too. 
Yep. And I don't mean like, you know, serial killer, but I just mean like, man, when it just, An ultimate you know, competitor. Lethal assass assassin, yeah. yeah, competitor, I mean, yeah. Yep, that's, that's crazy. crazy. Mm -hmm. um, anything else for people before we wrap? Um, no, 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 no. I'll keep people updated on the New Balance if I go after anything, and then obviously just stay tuned to the page. Uh, I've been posting a lot of those. Yeah. Outfits. I mean, I still got about five more fits that okay. I haven't really posted of stuff that I wore. So get ready okay. for that. Um, yeah, definitely follow us on the Slate Lace page. Um, let's check those out for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see how you threw the ACG together. Yes, I did. How we, uh, how he was rocking those various I shoes. Mean, it was, but it was very, it was very minimal because, like I said, I was hiking. So I mean, I was wearing like, you know, yeah. like shorts. But and, sometimes those minimal fits are the ones that are the best. So. Yeah. Yep. Check it out. Follow us. Um, yeah, it's the Slate Lakes Gang. We are signing out. <laughs>